Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in. In a previous video, we got into the basics of IP addressing in AWS and CIDR blocks and such. Link above and below if you're interested. In this video, let's put that knowledge to use by actually creating a virtual private cloud or VPC in AWS, and then we'll also create our subnets in that VPC as well. Here on the console, I've navigated to VPC, and we will create VPC. There are two different options here. You can do the VPC only, or you can do VPC and more and set up a lot of additional things like your subnets. But we're just gonna go with VPC only, keep it simple, and then we will add those other things later because I think it's instructive to do that manually. So we'll call this my first VPC. We're gonna go with a manual input here for our CIDR block. And we'll wanna use something from those RFC 1918 ranges we talked about, like the 10 dot range. So we'll go with 10.0.0.0 and slash 16. This is gonna give us 65,536 addresses. We won't be working with IPv6, so we'll leave this selected, no IPv6. And then tenancy, this is how hardware is launched for EC2 instances. If you have some kind of regulatory or compliance reasons that you need to be on dedicated hardware, then you can do that here. This is going to be way more expensive though, so if you don't have a good reason for doing that, just go with the default, which is what I'm going to do, and then we will say create. So pretty simple. We have a VPC that uses IPv4 addresses in this CIDR block right here. You can actually have multiple CIDR blocks. We can have up to five if we're running IPv4. If you come up here to actions and edit CIDRs, you could add additional ranges here. What we're doing, we're happy with just the one, but know that that's an option. So here's what we have at the moment, a single VPC in a region, and note that the VPC lives at the region level, it can only be in one region, and that VPC has the CIDR block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16, so we have 65,000 plus IPs available for the resources that live in that VPC. Now let's talk about the CIDR blocks and how it works with the VPC and the subnets. I've simplified this diagram a little bit just to make it easier to focus on the CIDRs, but at the VPC level, we have the CIDR block 10.0.0.0 slash 16, and then each of the subnets also need a CIDR range. What do you think that would be? Well, in short, they have to be subsets of the VPC CIDR block. So in this example, you couldn't do something like 172.16.something.something, it would have to be a 10.something range. And also they can't overlap. Adding some more detail here, the possible range of addresses from the overall VPC CIDR range is 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.255.254. So taking a subset of that range for the subnets, that means we could do something like 10.0.0.0 slash 24 for the first subnet, and then 10.0.1.0 slash 24 for the second subnet. And you can see the ranges and total addresses there. Now, having said all of that, it's important to know that AWS reserves some IP addresses, so you won't be able to use them, and you shouldn't include them in the total available count. Well, what do I mean? Those addresses are the first four and last IP address in every subnet. So for example, if we're looking at 10.0.0.0/24, the first four addresses, so ending in .0.1.2.3, and then the last one ending in .255, these are all reserved. So our total block is 256 IP addresses, but you only get 251. So 256 minus five. Coming up in this demo, let's create some subnets for the VPC that we have. Here's what we're gonna build. We'll take the existing VPC that we built previously, which is in US West 2, with a CIDR block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16. We'll create a public subnet that's tied to US West 2A, and then a private subnet tied to US West 2B. And these are the CIDR ranges that we're gonna be using from our example earlier. I've navigated to VPC here, and then I'll click on subnets here on the left nav. Now, one handy thing to know about is this filter, filter by VPC. We're gonna filter by my first VPC. That's the one that we created. 
And so here you'll see that we don't have any subnets, obviously, because we haven't created them yet. So let's create a subnet up here on the top right. And this will live in the my first VPC VPC for subnet name. I'm going to call this public subnet 2A. It'll sit in the availability zone US West 2A. Okay, the availability zone, this is going to be US West 2A. And then our CIDR block actually is this one here that we're getting the hint on 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And then we'll create. And we'll go through those same steps to create a second subnet. This will also be in my first VPC. This one we're going to call private subnet 2B, and that will sit in availability zone US West 2B. And our CIDR block here, we can't use that same 10.0.0.0/24, but we can do a dot one here. So 10.0.1.0/24. And create. And now you'll see with this filter on for our VPC, we've got our two subnets there. We've got the CIDR blocks and then available IPv4 addresses 251. Remember, that's because we have a total block space of 256, and then we're subtracting the five IP addresses that Amazon reserves. So that's it. That's how to create your subnets in your VPC. The real work is really figuring out your CIDR blocks and the availability zones that you want to use and so on, but the actual creation of the subnets is really pretty straightforward. If you found this helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.